Oh. <coughs> ah, I finally got them. Halo Universe blind bags are finally back, and this time with incredible new additions to the Halo Mega line. I already have more than half of them open with the Flood Brute, the Grunt, Jaga, the Elite, and the Hell Jumper. So these last three should complete the set, and then we can take a look at them. I've finally found a ball, so let's find out how Mega did. From the left, we have the brand new Flood Brute, the Black CQB, a green Hell Jumper from Halo 5, a Halo 2 Anniversary Elite, a Halo Comet Evolved Marine, which is basically the same one as we got before, which we'll talk about that later, a Halo 2 Brute, I believe, in a coloration style that we don't technically see in game, a Halo 3 Grunt, and finally Jaga in his active camo. If you wanted to collect all of these, it would cost you around $32 in the US. Starting off with figure number one, this could be the best figure of the entire series, the Flood Brute, something we've never gotten before in any Halo Mega style. Brute is not only detailed, but it's also a common figure, so it should be super easy to actually find this in stores and get it, if Mega's distribution was better. This is a fantastic figure though, sporting the brand new Flood mold from the hand, and a brand new mold for the Brute body in this Flood contorted form. It looks really good. The hand of this brute is the exact same hand that we've gotten on the previous flood forms in this newer style. It looks really good as well as the legs on the bottom of the brute are similar legs that we've gotten before. From the back you can see the excellent design of that new body mold as well as everything else just looks like a classic mega brute. The fig also includes a spiker which is something we haven't gotten from mega in a while. Up next we have another figure coming straight from Halo 3. This black CQB in the Halo 3 armor looks fantastic. It's great that we finally have a CQB like this from Halo 3 in the newer style and it looks really good. From the side you can see more of those molds for the shoulders and well as the legs and it looks really good from the back too. I believe that this backing is the same armor that they use for Master Chief and other figures from Halo 3 but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And from the other side you can see this figure is sporting a Spartan laser which looks really good. I don't love that they are using technically the Halo 5 design with this one but they painted it to look like the Halo 3 so I'll give them a pass. For me I really like it when blind bags are massable figures and this figure wouldn't necessarily fall into that category but it's just a fantastic mold that I think it definitely deserves a spot in here. Our next figure in here is probably the weakest in my opinion this hell jumper Spartan. It's no secret that I don't enjoy Halo 5 and I think the armor sets look really bad but hell jumper is probably one of the least bad ones so that's a positive. This is a good color that we get and it's nice to see that ODST coming out of this Spartan. Thankfully this Spartan armor design is not as bad as some of the others from Halo 5 so we're getting good shoulder pads and an overall good look. From the back you can see it's a little bit more rounded than some of the other Spartans which I don't love but it definitely matches the Halo 5 style. I do like that they included the Hydra in this one. It's one of the better weapons coming from these later Halo games and so it's a nice inclusion. Our next figure I believe is the best figure to come with the series with amazing detail and a figure that we've needed for so long to finally have a Halo 2 Anniversary Elite that looks so so good. This figure also fixes problems that we've had with previous Elites like making the face look better, the brand new plasma rifle, and those beautiful lights on the chest plate. This is perfect. From the side you can see that the shoulder we got here is the same that we gotten from the shipmaster. The hand is looking perfect as well as the legs are just classic elite legs. Even the back armor is slightly different than previous elites, however it is the same as the one from the 20th anniversary character pack with the shipmaster. On the other side we can get a better look at that shoulder pad which just looks so so good with these elites, but of course that brand new plasma rifle is looking amazing. The size of the plasma rifle has not changed in Halo Mega ever and has been severely oversized for many many years. This smaller size is perfect for these hands and so much better than the older one that wouldn't allow figures to even bend their elbow. It's such a good new design. Although this change isn't massive, it shows that Mega is still trying and working to address some of the issues that we've had with Halo Mega for years. And this one is one of those issues that doesn't really mean a huge ton, but when you see it, it's definitely noticeable. Unfortunately, our next fig isn't as awesome. While I love to have Marines in these series, and I think this Marine is an excellent looking figure, it is nearly identical to the Halo CE Marine that came in the series one universe blind bags. It's a reuse and kind of lazy. This figure is still really good, but it is overshadowed by the fact that this is reused so soon, and we have Marines from other video games like Halo Reach that we've only ever gotten in the original Halo Mega style. This is a really good figure to have remade, but in a blind bag series so soon, it just doesn't work. It should have been put in another set or something like that. It just looks too similar to the other one. It's the exact same fig. 
Our next figure is also kind of a remake with this purple brute in the style of Halo 2. I think the purple that they used here looks pretty good, but this isn't a figure that technically really appears in game, so it's not something that's super usable, but I do like getting brutes in these sets. The shoulder armor is the same that we've gotten in the past. I like the purple color and I think it would be fun to interchange it with other brutes, and the leg is basically the same that we've gotten before. The back of the brute is fairly basic, but it does give us a good look at that bandolier and the actual mold of the brute, which looks fluffy, so I like that. Speaking of fluffy, a brute shot with a giant blade on it was perfect for this choice of weapon. I like this brute. It reminds me of the brutes they used to make in the older style of Halo Mega that just kind of had blue painting around them or sometimes even purple. Unfortunately, the downside here for this brute is that we just barely got the exact same molds in a different Halo Universe series, just back in Series 2. If this new one improved upon the old one, it would be better, but it just doesn't. The old one is much better fit for in-game scenarios, mocks, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Our second rare figure in this series is the Grunt. This Grunt is super awesome and is modeled after Halo 3, looks really good. Coloration is nice and everything else is just classic Grunt from Halo Mega. From the side you can see the canister is three pieces and it looks really good. I'm glad that we don't have to put them together anymore either. There isn't much to say about this Grunt. He's just the exact same grunt that we've gotten before in a different color. He does come with a needler, but technically this design is the Halo 4 and 5 needler, so it wouldn't really work in this scenario, but it doesn't matter that much. Of course, this grunt is one with a removable mask. I don't know if this is completely new, but I don't remember seeing one from Halo 3 with a removable mask. These two side by side, I think are meant to represent the same material, and I think the mask on the old one is just a little bit better, even though it can't be removed. And that brings us to our final figure of the series, the ultra rare Jaga Urdomni. This Elite is really detailed, but you can't really see it because it's active camo. This is actually the most accurate Jaeger or Domino we've ever gotten because you hardly ever see him in the game, and when you fight him, he's basically in active camo the entire time. It can be a challenge to make out some of the detail from the side, but it is there and the mold is still really good. Figures like this make me happy that Mega is willing to try different things, and they tend to work out in great ways. It is easier to see the detail in person more than it is on camera, but it just looks really good and I'm glad that we have this figure now. I know it's just a change in plastic, but when a figure like Jaga is in active camo all the time, it absolutely deserves an active camo variant. Maybe soon we can get an Arby from Halo 3. Blind bag minifigures are something that I think Mega has always done really well, and this series is proof that the Halo universe is where they should stay. We got some great figures in here, and the fact that we have a brand new mold and such a cheap way to get it is incredible, making it not only common and easily accessible, but just brand new and this is amazing. I think LEGO could take a lot of notes here, especially with the CMF figures that they do and how much better Mega does them. They've been doing them for longer and it's proof that Mega knows exactly what they're doing. Having the first Flood Brute ever in a $3 blind bag is incredible and something that I wish they would have done a long time ago but it's great that we finally have it now. To end off, all of you who want to show more support to my channel, you're really loving the content and want to help me make more of stuff like this, I have a new membership option on my channel with three different types of memberships that you can join in order to help me grow. There are lots of awesome perks, videos, images, and other fun things that I'm going to be doing with members only. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would absolutely love to have you become a member of the channel. It'll help me out a ton, and hopefully it'll help us become a better community here for Lego Star Wars and Halo Mega Life. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Peace.